Hi Mona. Hi Jewel. How is everyone? Hey Unicorn. Hi Amy. Hi Trish. Merry belated Christmas. <laughs> I hope everyone had a good holiday. Okay. Sorry, I had trouble trying to go live tonight and I'm making sure that my settings are where they need to be. <sighs> okay. I'm feeling okay tonight. My chest is a little tight again today, so that's been a little bit of a bummer, but I'm still re trying to recover from COVID. <laughs> I hope everyone had a good weekend. I know, glad it's past us. I feel like we like spent like a whole month preparing for this, and it was over in like the blink of an eye. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Kelly. Slept for 18 days. Hi Donna, how are you? Hi Susan, hi Becca, hi Jim. Thank you, Rebecca. Hi Joe, hi Otter. How are you? Hi Caitlin. I'm doing okay. Today my chest was a little bit of tight again, so. I think because I had finished the Z-Pack for the pneumonia and I was good for like two or three days and now it's starting to feel tight again. So I think it's just like COVID in itself. Hello, hello. My brother-in-law loved Christmas. He was very excited. Um, Santa was good to him. He did, he tried all new foods. Um, my sister took him to get a picture with Santa. <laughs> he, he got his first Christmas ornament. He made his first Christmas ornament. They decorated a gingerbread house. So we're doing like all the like initiation things that kids would typically do with him. So it's pretty funny because he's in his forties. <laughs> Happy holidays. Yeah, so I did not sleep good last night. I tossed and turned all night. I've had so much food the last two days. I can't believe I haven't, like, popped. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. So I'm running on, like, four hours of sleep right now after two very crazy days. So we'll see how long I last tonight. I'm thinking we'll probably just do some selenite cleanses and just, like, Reiki no crystals, but we'll see. Thank you, Jim, for the corgi trying to bounce back it's hard yeah it's not easy I don't know I feel like COVID's just been very weird thank you Kelly all right let's not wait too long let's go ahead and start with the selenite cleanse tonight is just going to be a general healing so if you would like to receive it go ahead and consent type in the comments think it to yourself say out loud whatever you're most comfortable with Make sure you have water or tea, something to hydrate. Um, make sure your electronics are plugged in and charging. Alarms are set. Uh, take any kind of nighttime medication, vitamin supplements that you need before you lay down and get comfortable. And as always, make sure you lay on your side so you do not drop your phone on your face. Yes, I I'm okay if you'd like to consent on behalf of children and pets. I do just ask adults to consent for themselves. Thank you. Okay. I got my tea tonight. I feel like this is so bright. That's a little better.
I'm feeling okay today, Nikki. Thank you. I woke up with my chest feeling a little bit tight. HBO is for Elmo. I didn't even realize Sesame Street was on HBO. <laughs> You guys hear the music okay? I had a very good holiday, thank you. I'm sad it's over as fast as it was, but at the same time, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> That's okay, Jim. Whenever you're ready to scan it in, you can hear it, but barely. Okay, let's turn it up a smidge, see if that's better. I know some people wear headphones and I don't want to like make it way too loud for them. I need my neck to crack tonight. They have a holiday hangover. <laughs> <laughs> Smidge only scooch me <laughs> <It's> too loud. <laughs> Jim. Hi, Sarah. Oh, it's marvelous confetti now. When did that change? <laughs> it's like fancy confetti. Thank you, Laura. All you have to do is consent to receive. This is a general healing, so if you have your own intention you would like to set for something specific, you can absolutely do so, as long as you consent to receive. Thank you, Mona. <laughs> wow, this face is so funny. <laughs>
Yeah, for anyone that's new here right now, you always have to consent to my lives and to any of my Reiki videos. Um, you're always welcome to stay, even if you don't want to consent, just to check it out and see for yourself what it's about. Um, but I always set a very specific intention that the, only those who consent will receive. I do not mess with anyone's energy that does not give me permission. And in order to consent, you can just type it in the comments, sing it to yourself, or say it out loud, whatever you're most comfortable with. Thank you, gas station. I am feeling better today. My chest was a little tight, but it's also been so cold here in the last couple of days. I don't think that's been helping either. Thank you, Cher. Oh, Freckles, you're gonna do so good. You made it through the first semester, right? You just gotta do another one of those. Take it one day at a time. Hi, Amber. How are you? Sorry, some of the comments are going quickly. If being around your crystals is helping you breathe that much better, I would find a way to take them with me. <laughs> Whether it be jewelry or in a pocket, whatever you can, you know. I'm sorry you've had a bad cold, Sarah. Yeah, you've made it through two semesters already. You have one more to go now. So we're just going to focus on the one semester moving forward. Take it a day at a time, a week at a time, whatever you need to do. But you have done this twice now. You've done so well. Oh, Alex, I'm so sorry your heart is hurting. I do not have tuning forks. I do have singing bowls, though. Got a tray to carry them. There you go. <laughs> Hey, Nikki. An important interview in the morning. I'm going to say congratulations because I am manifesting how well it's going to go for you. Falling asleep with highlights through my hand, waking up still holding it. <laughs> I move around way too much when I sleep. I would drop that after like three seconds. <laughs> Mine are on my nightstand. It's not safe for them to be on me. <laughs> Just had your third baby. Congratulations. With <laughs> the vampire. <laughs> Hi, Max. And with this crystal cluster, awesome. Felt that first full. <laughs> like a little kid. 
kid. <laughs> This is Selene, yes. Is there any more benefit to receiving Reiki in person? There's really no difference between distance and in person. I know some people prefer in person because you can deal, like you would, could feel the actual touch um, per se if you're wanting them to do more hands-on instead of hovering. But I've had people had great experiences with both. Um, sometimes I prefer distance sessions because I can be in like the comfort of my own home and like fully relax as an introvert I don't like going out if I don't have to um, so to like go to like someplace I don't know or like a spa and stuff like that it's not as relaxing for me but some people prefer that scene as long as the person is attuned to distance healing fine either way. Fear depends on the healer. Yeah, that absolutely can play a part in it too. How does selenite help you? I use selenite to help cleanse and protect. So I try to start and end all of my lives with it just because when there's a couple hundred people, I want everyone to come in cleansed and leave cleansed so you're not dealing with anyone else's energy on you. I wonder where Eric is. Eric was supposed to be working all this week, remember? He said he was gonna have the week off and then he ended up getting called in. I hope he gets some time off. He makes me nervous, he works so much. Thank you, Courtney. I just got really intense third eye pressure. Holy smokes. <laughs> Like, is that my brain fog kicking in? For those of you who are just hopping in, this is a general healing. You just have to consent to receive. You can set your own intention if there's something specific you would like. I know a lot of people are coming out of some holidays, maybe we're around some family that they're not very fond of, want to release and remove some of their energy. We're using selenite for cleansing and protection. Thank you, Amy. healing guy which one we're on our first selenite cleanse thank you for sharing the live and tapping the screen Oh, sorry, Jim. <laughs> my brain fog has been bad, so <laughs> it's going to go like right over my head lately. And my boyfriend's trying to make my skin crawl. The energy is icky. Yeah, so if that was like you for the holidays this past weekend, set that intention. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the normal Reiki. <laughs> we haven't talked about that in a while. <laughs> Make sure you're relaxing your brow bone. Unclench your jaw. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Take a deep cleansing breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Thank you, Donna. I did not get cornbread for Christmas. I have not had cornbread since that whole conversation. Hi, Sarah. How's your dad doing? I told you, Mona, one of these days, <laughs> if I'm ever in your state, I'm coming over. <laughs> and then everyone wants cornbread again. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I hope your family's feeling better. He's still weak and tired. Slow recovery. Well, I'm glad he's getting the rest he needs. If Even if it takes a little while, his body needs that rest. Just don't try to rush it and push it. Let your body heal. Thank you for all the gifts. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Prong. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Amy. Oh, sorry, Sarah. I didn't mean you were pushing him. I meant like, you know, he, if they try to push themselves. Like me, when I don't feel good, I don't like sitting still. So I keep saying like, you know, maybe I should just do this and then I, the universe sits me back down and says, no, you need to relax. <laughs> I'm sorry, your anxiety is terrible right now. This is a very safe space. You're welcome to sit with us for a little bit. Try to relax your brow bone, unclench your jaw, drop your shoulders, deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. If it helps, you can put your hand on your chest or your belly to help you ground. I have put black obsidian by my bed. I know some people don't like it. I would try it at night and see if the energy from it resonates with you or not. Um, for me, it's very like grounding and protecting, so it's not like high energy, like Moldavite or anything like that. So plucking will literally just pop into my mind, so I'm not even going to question it. I'm just going to say that apparently we need to release some stuff tonight, so let's do a little bit of plucking quickly too. If I missed your comment, I'm sorry, they're starting to scroll quickly. If my mods don't answer your question, please just ask again. Um, with plucking, I always say to bring forward in your mind consciously anything you are wanting to release and let go of. I can only remove stuff that you are ready to heal from. So if it's something you're still working on or learning lesson from or processing, I'm not gonna take that. You, you need to work through that. 
um, but you can think of anything from physical pain, sickness, toxic negative energy, anxiety, intrusive thoughts, anything like that. Good night, Jim. Um, so I will just pluck those and remove those, anything that is no longer serving you and your highest good. With the plucking, you can feel slight pressure or pain in certain areas. Um, if you are releasing something, I always encourage you to breathe into it and just know that if it is working its way out, it is for purpose. If it ever feels like it is way too much for you or too intense, I always encourage you to please swipe out of the live until you feel more comfortable or grounded or settled. And as always with the plucking, let's take a minute to hydrate first because we haven't hydrated yet, but you do want to hydrate very well when we're removing stuff. Thank you. I was feeling a little bit Sonia and then today I started to get like the tight chest again. I had finished my Z pack and I was good for like two or three days and now I'm starting to feel it in my chest again. So hopefully it's just nothing major. I think it's just, I'm gonna have a little longer recovery because I've been so sick for the last two months. Okay. You do not have to look directly at the phone. You can sit up, lay down, sound on, sound off, whatever's most comfortable for you as long as you consented to receive. I know some people like to watch because it gives some of like the ASMR tingle vibes too, but you do not have to. <laughs> what was I sick with? I have been sick off and on since the middle of October. It started with the sinus infection, then my daughter had flu and RSV. I caught the flu from her, which turned into bronchitis. Um, then I had a sinus infection again, bronchitis again, and now I'm recovering from COVID. So my lungs were already not great after two back-to-backs of bronchitis. They were worried about me getting pneumonia. And when I got COVID, it definitely was all in my chest. So I've been on so many antibiotics and steroids and rescue inhalers. <laughs> I'm just over it. <laughs> but it has been helping, so... Yes, I, I've been saying that I really think it's been some kind of awakening where I've just been focusing a lot on my healing this year and this is just my body purging and releasing all this gunk and crud that I don't need anymore and the universe has just told me to sit on my butt for the last two months and just rest and relax and release so that hopefully I can go into next year feeling much, much better. So it is all for purpose. Yeah, me only if I don't have saw the thing with like the, on the onion pot and stuff. I've been doing the fermented garlic too, um, but I'm very fortunate where my primary care physician, um, her husband does holistic medicine. So she understands like Reiki and stuff like that. And even she was telling me, she was like, I don't even know how like you caught so many things like back to back to back to back to back. Like, so it just seems odd. But at the same time, like with everything I've had, I've been very fortunate where my symptoms have not been too severe other than just like being like lethargic and tired. So at this point I'm just thinking it's just time to release and shed a bunch of stuff, right? So yeah, for me with the COVID it's all in my chest and the brain fog has been horrible. <laughs> You guys heard my story last week. It was so bad. I've had a couple of those instances since then, but like when people would say like they had brain fog, I just thought like they were like, you know, very temporarily forgetful. No, it's it's bad. Hi, Nancy. 
see how are you feeling and giggles. Hi, Shelbel, thank you. Thank you, Pamela. So tonight I'm feeling like a lot up here and like a lot in like belly area. Not too much in the chest. So probably a lot of like headache, sinus, migraine that region. Belly could be from all the food I ate. <laughs> I feel like I'm still full from like three days ago. <laughs> yes, burping is a release. Burping, yawning, hiccups, all of that is a way to release for sure. Ooh, felt that. tell you I have been eating so much the last three days the other night it was like 11 o'clock at night I think it was Christmas Eve or Christmas Day I don't even remember brain fog I was like I told my husband I'm like I am so full and hungry at the same time I can't even make sense of it like the pressure in my stomach from eating so much was there but I was still hungry and I went and had like a whole other freaking meal at 11 o'clock at night I was like I can't believe I still was able to eat that much I was like, never would I eat that much at 11 o'clock at night in my life. Especially feeling as full as I did. It's like, it's so weird. Yes, yeah, Shell, this can help with liver. So for those of you who are newer here, Reiki can help with physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual blocks and symptoms. You do just have to consent to receive. I never work on anybody without their permission. And if you want to consent, you can type in the comments, sing it to yourself or say it out loud, whatever you're most comfortable with. I am a Reiki master teacher. I've been practicing since 2003. I'm trained in distance healing. Energy is not bound by time or space. Sometimes you might feel it on a physical level. You might feel like tingling or warmth, cooling sensations, anything like that. Um, sometimes you might not feel it physically at all and it might just be working on more of like a mental or emotional level. There's no right or wrong way to feel. Everyone's going to receive it how they need it. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Lexi.
yeah, you can absolutely multitask. You do not have to sit and watch the whole time as long as you consented. Um, I know some people like to do other things and just have it on in the background. If you fall asleep, it will still work, yes. Sorry, I had to restart. The music is about to stop. <laughs> Don't become a member of the phone to face club. Lay on your side, proceed with caution. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Moon. you were doing when you run your hands together is it to remove the negative energy oh like when I do this or are you talking about something different <laughs> thank you Mona a little corgi yes so for me I kind of feel like the pushing and pulling of it um, so I've said this before on lives, I don't know if you were on them, but I have like a little area right here on my desk where I kind of collect everything and when I hop off the live at the end, anything that I removed, any kind of like toxic, stagnant, negative energy, anything like that, I wrap it in love, light, and forgiveness and I send it back into the earth to heal. So it's like a little invisible basket in front of me that I kind of collect everything in. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay, Jessica. I've only talked about it a couple of times usually when people ask. But I never, I always feel like I don't want to repeat myself too much to people who've heard it like a thousand times. I'm always happy to answer questions. I'm 
feels bigger. I am feeling better, thank you. Absolutely, Max, please do. for aspiring Reiki healers who are just beginning to learn absolutely practice 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 <laughs> do yourself Reiki do your cleanses um, practicing on yourself is the best way to start because it helps you learn how to feel the energy how to work with the energy um, I know it's hard to trust yourself in the beginning but as you practice more and more you'll start to notice patterns or certain sensations that repeat um, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. Just learn to, to trust yourself and what you're feeling. on yourself yes so learning to do Reiki for yourself is one of the very first things you're taught um, I have my level one and level two classes up in the link in my bio if you're interested but level one you learn how to do self Reiki and Reiki for others in person the second level is where you learn how to do distance Reiki like I'm doing now where people aren't right in front of you um, but you can learn there's like different hand placements that you do as you work your way through the body. I'll we'll be doing another team live soon with Reiki Fairy. I told her to let me know whenever she wants to do another live, um, but I told her I'm always willing to go live with her. I love her though. She's so sweet. I haven't been able to do dual lives the last couple months because I've been sick so often I wasn't trying to schedule with people and having to constantly cancel. So now that I'm feeling better, it will be easier. Can I see where your problems are? In group lives, I can't because I feel the energy is more of a whole, um, but in one-on-one -on -one sessions, yes. has been at an all-time high of feeling so inadequate lately. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jennifer. Keep in mind, though, like, I was saying this, I think, last week, um, and this is completely up to you if you want to word it this way. When I go through bouts of depression, I try to word it as that, not that I am depressed, just that I am going through a depression because it detaches it from you and makes it this separate thing. So instead of saying, like, I am depressed, I'm going through a depression. I'm not depressed. It's just something I'm going through. It makes it sound more temporary and less permanent. And for me, words make a huge difference, especially with my anxiety. So hopefully that helps. Just know it's not permanent. It's temporary. been on for about 50 minutes I think I'm glad it helped Bella yes the anxiety I experienced instead of my anxiety absolutely 
And for me with my anxiety too, some of y'all have heard me say this a hundred times, I'm sorry. Um, but this was something I heard from somebody else. I did not come up with this. Um, but when you get your anxiety really bad, thinking your anxiety instead of being so fearful of it, because when you think about it, your anxiety is literally your mind and body thinking that you are so worthy that it's not willing to let anything happen to you. So even the smallest things, which might seem stupid or unrealistic to you, your mind and your body are not willing to risk anything happening to you. So it sets off this reaction to keep you safe, right? So when you start to feel your anxiety spike or you start to feel that panic attack come on, just tell yourself, thank you for trying to protect me, but I'm okay. And it, it's a huge shift. When I started saying that to myself like a year ago, I heard it, my anxiety or my panic attacks either would not happen at all or they would be like much less severe than they had been. So it's just, sometimes it's all about words. <laughs> like my anxiety, when I would feel like the panic coming on, I'd be like, oh my God, here it comes, like here. And like, I would work myself up into it. Now I say, thank you for trying to protect me but I'm safe, I'm okay. I do not need your help at this time. And it's like, it brings it back down just, just a little bit most of the time. <laughs> so hopefully that helps you. You're very welcome. Yeah, and self Reiki. I encourage everyone to learn at least level one Reiki, even if you have absolutely no desire to do it for anybody else, just doing it for yourself can be so healing and relaxing. Like I originally in 2003 only signed up to do level one Reiki because my anxiety was at such a high, I was desperate for anything to help. Never did I think almost 20 years later, I, with a severe anxiety disorder, would be on live with 350 people <laughs> doing it for everybody. So you never know how far you'll come. <laughs> my therapist told me there's no lines chasing me and it's become my mantra. Oh, I like that. I've also done it where like when I get intrusive thoughts, I give it a name. I'm not gonna say the name on here because it's anyone's name is that, but I picked a name that I thought would be like like the most annoying to me. So when like I have intrusive thoughts pop in my head, I'm like, okay, like not now, so and so. So it's like, it's not me, it's detached from me. And when you pick a name of someone that you really don't like, you stop wanting to listen to it. <laughs> you do it to fall asleep at night every night, yeah. self is the best. I mean, I always say it's like a massage, like, you know, I can massage my shoulder and it feels good, but if someone else does it for me, it feels great. But like a massage by myself is still a massage, you know what I mean? It's still relaxing. Yeah, the name's definitely not Nicole. <laughs> All the Nicoles are safe. <laughs> Yeah, I've had anxiety for as long as I can remember. My anxiety started out with like really severe separation anxiety from my mom. And she can come on here and tell you, like she would take me to school and the principal used to have to come and like pull me out of the car because I would be terrified, terrified of leaving her side. I would cry all the time. I was, I had it really bad and it morphed into like a general like social anxiety and generalized anxiety disorder. I was agoraphobic for a while. I could, I would not leave my house. I've had it very bad. I've done medication. I've tried natural medications. I did one medication where my anxiety told me to stay on it for 10 months. I gained 30 pounds in 10 months because my anxiety told me, well, I, th I felt like a zombie for 10 months. And my anxiety kept telling me, well, what if this feels better than not being on it? So I kept staying on it. You know what I mean? Like. I've been through it all. <laughs> and I feel like like that's part of the reason why I share so openly what I've gone through because when I was younger, like nobody talked about that. Social media wasn't a big thing. I'm 37, so 
I would have loved to have had somebody talk about it to make me feel less alone. It's been a long healing journey. It definitely does not happen overnight. I've been going to a therapist for the last seven years. I've been doing my Reiki very often the last seven years um, for myself and for others, but mostly for myself. I've been doing a lot of shadow work. For me, setting boundaries was a really big one. I was very much a very big people pleaser and I would drain myself of energy at the expense of others. How did I heal agoraphobia? <laughs> Not easily. <laughs> um, I would do little things where like, I would just like sit at the front of my door or I would just sit with the door open and I would time myself to show myself like, you know, I did it for five minutes and then I would shut the door. And then like, you know, I do it a little bit later and I would open the door for 10 minutes and I would like put my feet outside. Like I was bad, I was bad. I would have to go to work, that was the worst. I would have a panic attack driving to work when I had to leave the house. I was ordering groceries and having them delivered. I was doing Amazon Prime. Anything I can do to not leave my house, I did. Setting boundaries was definitely hard for me. And I think it's because I had this huge fear that people, sorry, it's my 11.30 alarm that always vibrates. Um, that people would like hate me or leave me if I told them no. And I started where, I don't know if anyone's seen Big Bang Theory, <laughs> where um, Penny and Leonard have the book on like how to like teach kids and they're using it on Sheldon. And instead of saying like no, they give him two options that they're okay with. And then he picks from the options. So for me, like, if someone at work was like, I need you to do this by tomorrow, and I couldn't do it by tomorrow, I would say, well, you know, either ask so-and-so to do it, or I'll have to give it to you in three days. Or I would say, well, you know, is this more of a priority for you, or is this more of a priority for you? Like, I took the option off of me, and I put it onto them, so that when they chose, it was up to them. And I started doing it that way. And then when I started telling people no, no one really got mad. And then when you start gaining that confidence and that power in that moment, you, you feel better doing it. I've had like one or two times where people like weren't happy that I told them no to something. But you have to remember, like if they're not okay with you setting normal boundaries, that's probably not someone you want in your life anyway. So if, you're, if you can't say no, give two options for a little bit, build up your confidence and then ease into it. All right, let's take a minute to hydrate because that was a doozy. <laughs> That's like 30 minutes straight. Yeah, saying no is the best thing ever. It's my favorite thing now. <laughs> and I don't say no to be like a pain in the butt to anybody, but your happiness is not always worth my peace, right? I'm not going to give up my peace and my sense of healing for someone who's not going to be okay with a normal boundary. And it's likewise if it's reversed, if someone tells me no, I just go, okay, like, Great, good for you. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> oh, is someone asking about my ring? It is a silicone ring. It's by Enzo. I have a laser engraving business with my family, so I can't wear like metal or actual like stones and jewelry because they scratch when I'm working. Oh, Sarah, I'm so proud of you. I know how hard that is. Yeah, you say no for you, not for them, exactly. 
when you continuously keep the peace for everybody else, you're creating a war inside yourself, right? It's not worth it. And likewise, too, like when people come on here and troll or people just in general say mean stuff, I've learned that people project their own fears and insecurities onto others. So now when people are rude to me or say mean things to me, I literally look at them and I sympathize and I wish them healing because how internally like are you struggling that you are putting that much negativity out into the world? So it's like I don't even take things personally anymore. I'm breathing with you, but can you help me be calm? Yes, oh, hot whiskey, I'm so sorry you're not feeling good. Okay, yes, let's take a minute. Let's relax our brow bone. Let's unclench our jaw. I need to do it too, mine's always tight. <laughs> let's drop our shoulders away from our ears. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. In through the nose. out through the mouth in through the nose and out through the mouth keep doing that breathing if you need it longer oh my neck finally cracked that felt good yes hurt people hurt people and don't get me wrong there are days where like i don't take it personally but sometimes i just match energy <laughs> i'm not proud of those moments but it happens i'm not perfect <laughs> but then i'll sit back and i'll be like that wasn't really necessary <laughs> uh been clenching for a while now yeah I realized, I watched myself in some of my videos from this past week, and I realized I'm like tensing my mouth a lot in the videos, and I have to like visibly and like mentally remind myself to just relax, you know? Suggestions on clearing negative energy in the new year. I don't know when the first full moon is, but I would use the first full moon of the year. The um, full moons is when you release. Um, so write down things you want to like let go of and heal from and do like a full moon ceremony. That's a great way to start. You're welcome, hot whiskey. Just when I think I've grown, someone will push a button I'll react. We all do. We're always learning and growing. Happy people ain't hating and hating people ain't happy. Yep. None of us are perfect. We just gotta learn and grow. I gotta pull my hair back. I'm getting hot. Whew. First full moon is January 6th. Awesome. That's perfect. I also saw somebody, and I can't remember specifically who it was. I think she, she definitely had some kind of like English accent um, but she was doing a thing on manifesting for the new year and I think I might try and do what she did I think she did it over solstice I'm probably gonna do it this week she wrote down 13 things that she wanted next year that she was gonna manifest excuse me and she wrote them on individual pieces of paper she folded the paper up, and I think she did this 12 days leading up to solstice. I'm not sure, I don't remember. And each day she burned one, and then she kept the 13th. So 12 of them were supposed to represent like one of for each month next year, and then the 13th one is one that you are responsible for manifesting for yourself. So I thought that was kind of a, a cool concept and a cool idea. I'm gonna look up a crystal quickly because I think it helps with this but I want to see you saw that one too I can't remember who it was I'd seen two people do it but they're mutuals and I don't remember who was first
Yeah, I like that idea too. I like that you kind of leave 12 up to the universe and then one you take control of. Like for me with anxiety, I feel like that's a really good thing because I only have to focus on one thing out of 13 things. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm trying to look this up. Yeah, let's use this. I've never seen her before. I might have it saved. Yet, yeah, let me know if you do. I can't remember her name. We're grateful that you're here too, Sarah. Yes, Jess, tonight's session is a general session, so everyone is allowed to set their own personal intentions tonight. All right, I'm gonna do some Orlite 23. I'm only gonna do this crystal tonight because we did a lot of plucking and stuff too. But Orlite 23 is a combination of 23 crystals. I'm not gonna name them all, <laughs> mostly because I can't say half of them, but um, a majority of them include amethyst, hematite, magnetite, pyrite, um, gold, silver, platinum, nickel, copper, iron, covalite, calcopyrite, uh, rutile, quartz, boronite, and like 10 others that I can't say. So we will use that. It works on all chakras, um, helps open, heal, and activate the entire body. It helps on physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual levels. So we will use this one tonight. Thank you, Trinity. That's great. There we go. This is Orlate 23. Thank you, Tina. Three, three again. Thank you all so much for sharing the live tonight and tapping the screen. I appreciate all the eye pokes and nose boops. <laughs> Maybe that's why I had that third eye rush. Everyone was like, You guys, I just realized the adults in our family did Secret Santa this year, and my Secret Santa got me a mug warmer, and I forgot to bring it up to keep my tea warm while I was up here. I'll have to bring it back up tomorrow. Is there anything you can do for alcoholism relapse today? I'm so sorry today was rough for you. Tonight is a general healing, so if you have your own intention you would like to set, you absolutely can set it for that. Um, I would simply say just forgive yourself for what happened today and just move forward, start fresh. 
I'm very proud of you for making it this far. Three, three, three is an angel number. They all represent different things. It's just the synchronicity of the numbers. Thank you, Katrina. That one's so cute, too. I'm sorry, sunshine. The brain fog has been bad for me too since I got it. It's definitely not fun. Yeah, R light 23 is great. And because it has so many like components of crystals in it, it's definitely considered a master healer too. Otter, I looked up the lion's mane mushroom. I just haven't ordered it yet. But I, I have it saved. <laughs> I'm waiting till I get paid because Christmas wiped me out. <laughs> Tuesdays. Thank you, Faye. This is Orlight 23. It does look very much like my Super 7, though, so that's a good guess. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny.
for sharing the live. This one I got from Loving Thyself Rocks. Um, all the crystal shops that I've bought from consistently and have had great service from are linked in my bio. Um, I'm not affiliated with any of them. They're just ones that I consistently purchase from and have had great experiences with. Welcome, dopamine. just hopping in please consent to receive type in the comments think it to yourself say it out loud whatever you're most comfortable with crafty Gemini how are you doing how are you feeling tonight's session is just a general healing if you have your own specific intention you would like to set, you can absolutely do so for yourself. If you do not want to consent, you are welcome to hang out and just watch and chat as long as you are being respectful. Thank you, 1333. Breakdance Mom. I'm glad you're doing good. I'm feeling better too. Thank you. <laughs> Tonight's just a general healing. We're working with some Oralite 23 which is a master healer. It works with all the chakras. Thank you, Agatha. I got from Loving Thyself Rocks. Um, it is linked in the bottom of my bio, all the crystal shops that I purchase from. I'm not affiliated with any of them. It's just I've consistently had good service from them and that is where I recommend. Sorry, I'm missing some of the questions. Yes, you can absolutely have your phone on its side, that's fine. You can multitask, you can watch, not watch, fall asleep. As long as you consent to receive, you will still receive. The background music is idyllic melody tonight. When you're doing this, what do you think of, honestly, when I chat, it's easier because I'm not letting ego get in the way. I'm kind of just feeling around for it. <laughs> um, but I kind of feel like the energy shifts or I feel pressure or tingling in certain spots. And I try to just trust my intuition with where I need to go. Yeah, take a look. Loving Thyself Rocks. They're on um, IG and they have their own website too. They do live sales on the gram of Insta every week. They're definitely a very fun bunch. They're located in Florida. If 
50,000 likes, y'all. Thank you so much. And thank you to everyone who's sending gifts. I'm trying to call them out as I see them, but I'm sure I've missed a few. They're definitely appreciated. And to everyone who shared the live, thank you. Thank you, Stevie. Thank you, Kelly. This is the most we've had on live in a long time. TikTok likes me tonight. <laughs> had a rough weekend. I know it was the holidays, but even if there was like no family problems or anything like that, it's just a very tiring and exhausting time. Just I think we all just need to like take a minute and breathe. <laughs> I hate that it's over because it happened so fast, but I'm also so glad it's over and I can just breathe and relax now. Yes, needing some calm after the crazy holiday. I 100% agree. My, my bottom lids pit tonight. That was me the last two nights. I was eating so late. Reminder to relax your brow bone. Unclench those jaws. Drop your shoulder away from your ears. Good night, Joe. Deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. to take a minute to hydrate and stretch please do so for those of you who are new hydration is very helpful with Reiki if you're kind of releasing um, or purging or detoxing any of this energy staying hydrated can help kind of helps flush all that bad stuff away it's also good for your body in general it keeps your body from reabsorbing it and also helps prevent healing crisis. Is it normal to feel sleepy with Reiki? Yes, Reiki is very deeply relaxing. We have something called the phone to face club because a lot of people fall asleep and drop their phones on their face. <laughs> Please lay on your side, sleep responsibly. <laughs> There's been a few times I've almost joined the face to desk club and fallen asleep on my own life. <laughs> I am like the CEO of that club. <laughs> I'm a repeat offender. My favorite crystal to work with, personally, I use amethyst all the time. I have more amethyst than I can count. It helps me with my anxiety disorder. <laughs> know but like working with it it kind of changes I guess depending on where I am in my healing journey at that time but amethyst is definitely like a consistent go-to 
smell something burning. I think my husband cooked something. <laughs> He's probably downstairs hungry and eating. Now I'm gonna be hungry because I smell stuff. Thank you, Stevie. I'm so glad it feels it. And just so you know, like, my, my usuals here, no, I joke all the time, I have an open relationship. I encourage you to, to sit on other Reiki practitioner and healer's lives. Um, just because you don't always feel it physically does not mean that the energy is not flowing. Sometimes it's just healing on more of like a mental or emotional level, not necessarily a physical level. So we had burning smell for months after COVID. Yes, so I've definitely had the burning smell where I smell it and no one else does, and I've had it where certain foods taste burnt, this is definitely something burning. <laughs> I'm a little concerned with how strong it smells. <laughs> uh, so it needs to be clean. What did you make? <laughs> <laughs> I love how he commented. I was like, okay, I've been smelling burnt stuff for weeks, but that is definitely not me. <laughs> oh, garlic cheese bread. Save me a slice. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Two extra pieces. See? He takes care of me. He knows I want to eat some when I'm done. <laughs> uh, oh. Why is he cooking at midnight? Because we can. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> we were like the other night, the last two nights, it's like 11 o'clock and I'm like, I'm so full and hungry at the same time. Uh, <laughs> no, it definitely doesn't smell like popcorn. But I was sitting up here and like, I'm up under the vent, so when it like, there smells downstairs, they come up here all the time. And same thing, like when I burn incense, he can smell it downstairs, so. Uh, too funny. Yeah, so for the holidays and like sometimes special occasions, I make like fresh garlic butter. And I made it for Christmas Eve and Christmas, and I had a whole bunch left, so. This is Orlate 23. Should I be eating garlic bread at midnight? Absolutely not. Will I, now that I can smell it? 100% yes. <laughs> right now because it's hot. Let's hydrate. I think I'd rather have your blueberry cake. <laughs> Listen, there ain't no shame in our game. If you gotta eat, you gotta eat. Hi, 
Danny, I'm feeling good, thank you. How are you? Yes, Saturday nights, um, we do something called Shh Saturday, um, where after the first cell night cleanse, I turn the comments off for like 30 to 60 minutes and it's just super quiet. Every now and then I'll just do a reminder for hydration or stretching. And then we turn the comments back on uh, and do the final cell night cleanse. If you are new here and you do prefer the non-talking one, Saturday nights is the night to join. Um, I do have a YouTube, a tube of you, as we call it here. The same name as this, Nicole Reiki Healing. And I have all of my lives uploaded to there once they're done. And there's a playlist for just the quiet lives. Jamie, I'm glad it gives you good sleep. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Jamie, you are so fine, I promise. <laughs> I'm the same way. Sometimes I just want to watch ASMR and just like not have talking in the background, so I get it 100%. So how do, I think someone said, how does it work through the phone? So Reiki uses universal life force energy. It is not tied into any kind of religious background or belief. It is open for anybody and everyone to use or learn. Um, energy is not bound by time, distance, or space. So while it looks like I'm sending it through the phone, whether we were on the phone or not, I could still send it to anywhere in the world, anytime. No problemos. If you are wanting to learn Reiki, I do have self-paced courses and my link in my bio. They are always up, so at any point when you feel like you're ready to start, they are there for you. You're very welcome. Yes, yeah, sorry did I forget, it is always based off of consent, so I will never ever do energy work for someone who does not give their permission whether it is part of my lives or I have like a little blob that pops up when, the, when you join to say to consent. My mods will do reminders throughout as well. All of my videos you do have to consent to receive as well. That's one of like the very first things you're taught with Reiki is always, always, always get consent. Typically, I go live five nights a week, and I'm in Eastern Standard Time Zone. Um, but I've been sick off and on the last couple months, so my schedule's been kind of crazy. Typically, I go live Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so I'm not live Wednesdays and Sundays. And there's my next Reiki One class. It's all self-paced. So if you go to the link in my bio and you purchase the course, you get the manual, you get a journal for once you complete the course and different levels have different guided meditations that I did. You go through the manual, you reach out to me through email, message, whatever, let me know when you have completed the manual. We schedule a one hour Zoom call where we go over any questions you have on any material. I do your attunement, which is the process in which to become a Reiki practitioner and then you practice for 21 days. And then when you are done with that 21 days, you reach out to me and you get your certificate. So it is always posted in my link in my bio. I know how hard it is, I'm very busy. I know how hard it is to try and set like one course a month, it doesn't always work. Not everyone can hop on Zoom. I'm a wife, a mother, I have a full-time job and a full-time business and this. <laughs> So self-paced for me would be the only way that I could really learn right now. So I try to make it so it's easy and convenient for everybody. I would say a lot of my students are in the live right now, so if you have any questions, absolutely post it and I'm sure they will be happy to answer for you. Thank you, Max.
Thank you, Mona. Do you do mediumship? I don't technically like advertise that I do it or anything like that, but me personally, I am clairsentient and claircognizant. So when I'm doing like one-on-one -on -one sessions in particular, or when I do attunements for my students, if I have anything come through, I will definitely openly share with them. But I'm not like a medium per se, but I do get messages like every now and then. Thank you, Bella. Joe, thank you for resubscribing. Someone wants to know how to accept the feelings of Reiki. They are a visual learner and curious. Ooh, that's a good question visually. For me, it's all through feelings. So it's hard to explain visually. The energy is intuitive. So that's why different people are going to feel it in different ways and experience it in different ways. Shana, thank you for subscribing. Um, so for me, when I have healing that I need that's physically, I'll feel it as more of like a warmth or a tingling sensation. So for me, if you're more of a visual person and you're physically feeling it, where you're feeling those sensations is where the energy is like physically flowing into and out of your body. So for me, the way I try to explain to people how Reiki works is I am not healing you. I am just the vessel that is directing the energy to you. You are healing yourself. Your body knows what is needed for you at that time. So if you think of it as like a garden and the universe is the water and I am the hose that I use to water you, I am just directing the water to you and where you need it, but you are taking the water in and using it to feed yourself and feel yourself and grow. Does that make sense? So I think everyone thinks like, I'm healing you. I'm not healing you. I'm directing the energy to you. You are powerful enough to heal yourself. I'm a visual person too, but it's hard when you're trying to explain something you can't physically see. <laughs> And I hate using the hose thing because then everyone comments that and it's funny, but it's the one that makes the most sense to me. So <laughs> I will be your energy hose. <laughs> it's like the sister wives conversation all over again. <laughs> uh... Trig, see, I knew someone was going to say it. <laughs> sunshine I hope you had a good Christmas Aurora. Visualize it kind of like a fiber optic cable. Yes, that's a great example too. Good sunshine. I hear all our sisters. <laughs> I think that's going to be one of my favorite lives. <laughs> 
we laughed like 10 minutes straight. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever laughed so hard in a lie before in my life. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And for those of you that are newer here, we do have a Telegram chat. Um, I post in there all the time when I'm going to go live. I usually try to give like a 15 to 30 minute heads up. Um, so that is linked in my bio as well if you'd like to join us. We have a fun group in there. <laughs> oh, Bella, I'm not sure which one. I've talked about a bunch of them before, so you'll have to let me know like more specifically which one it might have been. Yeah, that was definitely a good live. <laughs> I was like crying from laughing so hard. How do I cope with anxiety of having a lot of viewers? When I first, first went live, this was like, oh my gosh, it'll be two years in April. When I tell you, I thought I was gonna have to take a shot because I was shaking so bad. It probably took me two or three days to convince myself to go live. And I think there are maybe like three people on the live and it was super awkward and very quiet. And I just told myself, like, I have to do this. Like, to get where I want to be, I have to get through this, like, awkward stage. And I want to say within the first couple of weeks, like, it was good. Like, just doing it consistently is the only thing that really helped me kind of get over it. Because at first it was the fear of the unknown, right? And I mean, I have trolls and stuff that come on the live still now and mods are awesome they take care of it they kick them out you know get some people that you have as good mods that you can trust but I was like an anxious wreck when I first started now I share stuff on lives that three years ago I would have like buried myself in the hole for a year if I knew I was gonna say that <laughs> I am not the same person I was two years ago that's for sure uh, thank you, Otter. You felt the same way when you first started doing lives? Yeah. I think, like, I feel like a majority of people are super nervous when they first go on. I went live for the first time of the night, up to 500 viewers, and I was dancing. That, that's awesome. That's a great live. Anxiety is not letting you. And there's days where it's just not, and you have to be okay with it. And you just have to say, you know what? Tomorrow's another day. This is selenite. I think for me, part of it was, is that like, you know, not to like guilt trip myself, but I was like, you know, if I let anxiety stand in the way and not let me go live, like, you know, who could be missing out on healing for me? Like, who could I have been helping instead? You know what I mean? So I have to kind of flip it in my mind sometimes to help with the anxiety. sunshine I have but I wasn't sure if it was like part of my COVID recovery absolutely proof that you can overcome it and now it's like I look forward to being able to go live like I don't even remember like I remember obviously not like being nervous to do it but it's so far in the past now. Oh, sunshine, I'm so sorry. Couldn't even lay down. Usually when I'm dizzy, I need to lay down. 
Do you get vertigo? You might have had something happen in like your inner ear. When I get that bad, it's usually from my inner ear. Oh no, Trish, I'm sorry. Yes, Bella, the grief one. Grief is just love with no place to go. We did talk about that one. Yeah, if you've never experienced it before, it sounds like you have like a small bout of vertigo. Yeah, Courtney, I, I was gonna say, I know you have vertigo too sometimes. So for me, like I've always had inner ear stuff cause I also get like motion sickness a lot. But if I get crystals that dislodge in my inner ear, I can get vertigo for like days or like weeks. Is Reiki good for childhood trauma? Yes, it can definitely help with childhood trauma for sure. I can't remember which playlist, but I do have video for inner child healing. It might be under the emotional. I can't remember. First year without her husband. Oh, I'm so sorry for your friend, Bella. low. I tried to charge as much as I could before I hopped up, but clearly not enough. <laughs> Ricky totally opened up my clairvoyance. That's awesome. I know for me, like when I did my second attunement, because that's more of your like, um, your auric field that opens up that for me like I noticed a huge difference I felt it a little bit with my level one attunement but level two I think was a little more intense than that And that garlic bread smells really good. <laughs> uh, what do you do when you get vertigo? Um, so I usually go to my chiropractor and they can do different like, um, like neck positions. There's also one, it depends on like which ear it is and like if it's crystals or from fluid or something else. Um, but sometimes you have to wait it out, which is not fun. There's one method where I hang my head off the back of my bed and you stay like that for like 60 seconds. Then you lay flat for 60 seconds. Then you do like a 45 degree angle, like a night, like, you know, then you sit like a 90 degree angle and you do each position for like 60 seconds so that if there's like crystals in your ear, it's, it gives it time to kind of like slowly like go back into place. But again, like it doesn't always work. All right, everyone, I hope everyone's feeling much better, more relaxed, lighter, breathing a little better. I should be on tomorrow night, hopefully. <laughs> if you're in the Telegram chat, I will definitely post in there. Yes, the Epley Maneuver, thank you, Otter. That's what the, um, the thing is for Vertigo. I should be on tomorrow night, probably around the same time, 10, 10.30 Eastern Standard Time. Um, but if not, I don't have bowling on Wednesday, so maybe on Wednesday too. 
but I'll post in Telegram either way. Thank you for 35 shares and 67,000 eye pokes and nose boops. <laughs> Thank you for everyone who subscribed tonight. Welcome to all the new followers. We're happy to have you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to everyone who sent gifts, tips, and donations. They're very much appreciated. And as always, a huge thank you to my mods for, as always, keeping it a very safe, positive, and peaceful place for all of us. I love you all, and I will see you next time. I hope you have a good day or night. <laughs> Bye.